that day planted a seed in my brain. And as I started to go to other countries, I started to see through the way we think about food in, in a way, in a different way. But there was this one really important day, the most important day of my life, I think, when I went to live with this uh, tribe in the, in the Maasai Mara. So this is like out with the, the lions and the elephants, right? These, these people live the way our ancestors lived for millions of years. And the idea was that this Maasai elder, the, the kind of the boss of his tribe, was going to cook a meal for me and I was going to cook a meal for him. So he was going to cook me a, like a traditional meal and I was going to cook him like some fancy Noma food, right? That's kind of the idea, right? You know, sometimes you meet somebody and you can see they are much fitter, much healthier. His eyes were whiter than mine. He was like, his brain was sharper than my brain at that time. And I, I was really shocked. We didn't speak the same language, but I could feel intelligently he was running around me like he was much more much smarter than I was and I was uh, just emotional and a mess you know like like almost everybody I, I grew up with the same thing so he cooked he he killed a goat and he cooked the goat for me and I uh, I made him like a some fine dining food right some fancy food and there's this moment when uh, he is just using one knife to, and a fire to kill and prepare this whole goat for his beautiful family. Every single one of them have perfect teeth. They look so good. They're so happy, right? And they're like me, I, 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 there's this one moment where I have my knife roll, you know, nail knife roll out on the grass. And I have all these different things, these peelers and vegetable cutters and like ballers for all this different stuff. And this guy is just looking at me like, what is this idiot doing, you know? Like, uh, and I, I'm starting to feel like, wow, my whole life has just been for nothing. You know, my whole life has been worthless because I thought I knew so much about food, but the, the food I cooked for him and the food he cooked for me, like obviously the food he cooked is nutritious, right? And, and has keep his family, the most beautiful, healthy family I have ever seen in my life, right? And then me and, and my family and everybody I know, we look like shit. No? And so I'm going to be very, very honest, right? Because, and I know a lot of people will not like to hear this, but I care more about people than I care if people like me. So this is kind of what my approach now. Um, so I had this moment of thinking, wow, I think I thought I knew so much. Like I'm a chef, from, come from the best restaurant in the world. And I have all these tools and all this stuff. And it's worth nothing because I am wrong. Like the food I think is good is is killing me. Can you can you imagine? Like, imagine spending uh, ten years, all your twenties, hundred hours a week in working at the most difficult fine dining restaurants in the world, getting your hand burnt, you know, bleeding out, being trapped in fridges, kicked around, beat up to get through these kitchens, and then you have this moment where you think that's all a waste of time. For all this stuff I learned was worthless because. What's the point of food? The, the, the point of food is to provide your body with, with nutrients. So that day planted a seed in my brain. And as I started to go to other countries, I started to see through the way we think about food in, in a way, in a different way. Um, so that was a, a real shock. So after that, I started to study. Nutritional research in the history of culture has just been, well, the person that eat that, ate that thing died and the person that ate that thing is still here. So let's not eat that thing and let's eat that thing. And that gets understood in the culture. Over thousands of years, you get this knowledge of, okay, this is what we do. This is what works. We're not trying to think about on a microscope why it works. We just need to know it works. And that's what all good thinking, I think, is is like that. But when we try to zoom in too much and we get distracted by saying, okay, you need this much of this vitamin and this much of this mineral, we, we are only thinking about what we know 
and we don't know all the stuff we don't know. So we don't need to understand all of this little detail because it, it distracts us from the whole picture. And so there's a reason why the people today are much less healthy, much less happy, much weaker than our parents and their parents and their parents. We are, we are going down because we are, and it's so sad because we, we are going down, but we think we are becoming rich, right? We think we have so much food around us, but we don't. We, it's it's a, a desert here, right? We, we can go and we can buy all these calories, but there's nothing in it, it's empty. So the, the, we can buy calories for cheap, there's no problem, but the calories are empty. Um, and that's a, and that's a dark situation.